Hi, this is Blake, and I'm going to show you how to do one of the JASM validation roads only projects. But we're not going to go through the whole thing. We're just going to go through the two most common things you're going to do, and that's it. And so we're just going to get a task square checked out, get the data downloaded, run JASM validate, and look at the list of warnings and errors. That's all we're going to do. And then we're going to do a second thing that's highly common, so pay attention for that. So uh, I'm on the project and I'm going to check out Task Square and I'm going to grab this one right in downtown Tampa, I don't know, um, Fort Myers. And I'm going to say start mapping. Of course this can only be done with JASM so you will click on edit with JASM. And it switches over to my JASM and I get an a API error. And this is the second most common thing you're going to do. And that's, I purposely got this you're downloading all of the data in these task squares and it's huge and then you're going to run JASM validation over it oftentimes the squares will be too big as the project is created and you'll have to split them so i'm going to say okay and i'm going to go back to the tasking manager and this project square is too big so it says task is too big it is and i'm going to click on split i'm going to say okay and then i'm going to check out one of these smaller ones and i'm going to say start mapping and of course I can only edit with JASM. And this one seems to be an acceptable size. Okay, so just quartering, the, sometimes you'll get it again and you'll have to go back and split it again. This seems fine. I have nothing selected. Make sure that you have nothing selected before you start. So click off and just make sure your selection box is empty. And then click on the validation checkbox, check mark. Just click on that and let it run. And it's gonna take a second. Um, because you have a lot of data and it runs a lot of checks. So let it run. And now let's focus on the validation results. This is what we're concerned with. So I'm just going to close the rest of this up. We're not going to go through the process exactly. But what's important is that I have run the JASM validation across all of this data. And it tells me there's only one serious error. And it is a relation without a type. I can't edit relations, so this one I can't fix. Um, I would recommend not fixing it. We're going to look for the really easy ones that we can get done fast. Um, you're welcome to map whatever you want to map, and if you have the expertise to fix something, and because you have that expertise, it's important that you do it, because not many people can. You do what you think is right. This is beyond me, so I will not be dealing with that error. And I have 499 warnings, so I'm just going to open this up and see what these warnings are. I can just get rid of that. And I'm just going to look and see what these warnings are. And I'm looking primarily for the roads related items. So I'm going to look for easy road fixes that will have a big impact on logistics, routing. Lanes without highway, not a big deal. 43, missing, okay, 40, that's nothing. Areas unnecessary for, that's 25, 22, don't bother with those. Look for the high ones. Let's see. Way end node near other way. Those are easy quick fix, probably. You know, even out of two of these, maybe I can, can't fix either one. But look at those and fix them. They go fast. Way end node near other highway, 17. Perfect example. Perfect. Focus on these. These are huge impact, low-hanging fruit, fast fixes, big difference in routing. You know, a lot of these other singles here, none of them are really road-related anyway. Um, the waterway ones you could look at. There's only one. Abbreviated street name, that's fine. Um, amenity place of worship unnamed ways that's fine we, we can't name them from satellite imagery you can skip all of those self-intersecting ways good quick fix you know I would look at the self-intersecting ways and fix those if you can they're a little bit longer than the way end notes overlapping ways exactly right so these are missing like bridge tags this is 13 so these are missing like bridge tags maybe or they're just missing not sharing a node so that routing knows it's an intersection. Super high impact, pretty quick fixes. You won't be able to fix them all. You'll look at them and you'll just be like, oh, I don't really know what this is. Let's just look at one. Um, so you can turn on and off your validation layer. So I don't even see where that one is, honestly. Um, you know, you might use a different paint layer style to help you spot these things. Um, I, I don't really know. Oops. Yeah, use undo a lot careful no undo uh, you get the idea find where that is and see if you can fix it but it might take you a minute and like I said you might not be able to fix all 13 by far but if you could fix five of them you would have a huge impact 
turn on and off your validation errors to help you see. Don't use wireframe. Um, I'm using wireframe. I see a fair amount of double building mapping, but that's not in my portfolio at the moment, but I do notice it. But this data looks quite good. Okay, so I would fix all the overlapping ways that I could. Max speed, who cares? Duplicate nodes, 181. These can take longer to fix than you would think. Um, the duplicate nodes are not a major error, not a major warning, and they can take a lot longer to fix than you think. When you try and get rid of one, it can get complicated. But definitely take a look at them. There's 181. Role member, any relation stuff, there's 58 relation things. I can't do any of those. Unconnected nodes without physical tags for, well, I might look at that. You get the point. Go through this list. Look for the super easy road fixes that you know how to make. Notice anything else about the where a lot of errors are occurring, just so you can understand the data itself. But fix the road things. Um, you know, low-hanging fruit, huge, huge impact on routing software and logistics. Thanks. Bye-bye.